guys so this is a subscriber request video a lady wrote on my Instagram account the other day she wanted to see a video on how I do my everyday makeup she explained that she's super busy working full-time in a job in mining and she has young children that she has to look after and she doesn't have time to touch up her makeup during the day now I completely related to that lady because or that mother I should say because I myself don't touch up my makeup during the day. Uh, I would love to, but I simply don't have time. I'm, you know, going from one meeting to the next or working on one deadline to the next. And especially in the morning with Rocco and the dogs and all their needs and wants, I don't have um, a large amount of time to do my makeup in the morning. So this video is made specifically for this lady and I'm showing, sharing with you how I do my makeup in five minutes. Now, I've had a couple of practice runs and I really hope this sticks to being five minutes, but I'm going to share with you everything I do to try and save as much time as possible and as be as efficient as possible in my everyday makeup look. Now before I begin actually doing my makeup, I wanted to share with you things that I do to help make my mornings go as smoothly as possible when I'm doing my makeup because it can be pretty manic in this household and when I'm rushing things tend to go wrong. So one of the best things that I've found for great efficiency is I've actually divided my makeup brushes up into two separate jars or glasses. One contains my makeup brushes just for my face. So obviously bronzing brushes, foundation brushes, brushes, blush brushes. And then in the other jar is my eye makeup and one or two lipstick brushes. Now, this means I can just grab things, I know exactly where they are, and it's also really easy to quickly put them away and create less mess because I hate mess. Also, I want to share with you where I got these makeup brushes from. Makeup brushes are incredibly expensive, um, absolutely crazy, but these are actually from Vanity Planet, and I got a whole complete palette set, and I think they were less than 40 Australian dollars. Now, for me, I think that's great value for money because it was only a couple of months ago I bought one makeup brush and I think it was between $60 and $80, which is simply insane and daylight robbery. Anyway, the good thing to know is these brushes are actually cruelty free. They're synthetic and they're, they're actually beautiful. They go on streak free. They're incredibly smooth and what I love the most is they're so incredibly soft and because of that, they're really quick and efficient to use in spreading the makeup around my face, particularly when I'm in a hurry and I'm really trying to get a really solid base cover that's gonna last throughout the day so that I don't need to touch my makeup later on. Now, of course, all the products that I'm gonna use in this video are gonna be linked in the description box below. So I really hope this makeup look takes about five minutes. As I said, I've tested this out a few times and each time it was around about four minutes. So I'm giving myself a one minute buffer to talk while also doing my makeup. And just to be careful, I'm gonna also start the timer now. Now, I am paranoid now about aging. I'm probably getting on the bandwagon a little too late and I've already put some sunscreen on my face and this is the product that I used. Anyway, moving straight onto my makeup and that kind of acts as a really nice base for me on a, just on a day-to-day -day basis. Starting with Foundation. Now I'm just going to leave my eyes just for a split second and just focus on my forehead and really lightly buffering around my face. Next, I've still got product left on that brush, which is so nice and soft. And I'm going to grab my concealer. Now, I find if I have a good base on, I look less tired and a lot fresher. All smoke and mirrors for me with makeup. I'm going to grab my concealer brush and I'm going to just quickly dab in the eye area so I don't look as tired because I've actually been awake since 4 a.m. this morning. And I'm also going to use any of the excess brush to just use as a base for my eyes or oh, eyeshadow I should say okay now I go back to my foundation blush brush blush brush blush and just then go back over on top of where I put the concealer and because this is so nice and soft it's a good 
spooky brush it's actually really nice to get into all the little nooks and crannies around my eyes and under my nose where I get red lips and because it's so soft also when you get to the hairline where sometimes you can really cake it on or have a, a nasty foundation line it doesn't let that happen Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Alright, next is my blush. Now I'm actually going to use two blushes. I am obsessed with NARS blushes. It's the, pretty much the main blush that I use. And I'm going to use my angled contouring brush, I think it's called. I'm going to put Now, what I do is I tilt my face to the side so I can see a natural contour angle to work with and to, I guess, bring out. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a slight shimmer. And as I said, I will put all the, all the colors that I'm using in this video description box. This one's got a little bit of a shimmer to go on top of that one. Whoa, yeah, is that too much? It's hard to tell when you're not doing it in a mirror, you're doing it in a little screen. And then, and look, all these brushes go back. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little time-saving trick. I am really bad at blending eyeshadow, so what I do is I use light colours for when I'm in a major rush and it's just a day-to-day -day makeup and I'm not doing any filming or I don't have any major important meetings where I need to have a full face of makeup. So I'm actually being quite creative. I'm using my Hourglass Trio and I'm going to use that as my base eyeshadow and I find that because it's a light color I don't need to spend as much time blending but then to stop myself looking so incredibly washed out I am then going to make sure I spend a little bit of time doing my eyebrows oh this is so hard doing it I don't know how all these makeup bloggers do this and YouTube One side of my eyebrow is really faint, the other one's a bit much better. I wish they were the same. Okay, and finally, my, well not finally, almost finally, my favorite mascara. Actually, I'm gonna do this in the mirror because this is really hard. Now, because I put not much eyeshadow on and I don't wanna look washed out and pale I put a lot of mascara on I really like to like layer it up and fatten my lashes time check oh five minutes I'm running late Other cheat for when you're in a rush and you don't have time to put a lot to make on is go with a light lipstick, preferably a gloss, because it doesn't take too much long to apply it. And you can rub your lips together. Ta da! So that is my everyday makeup, and I've hit 5 minutes and 42 seconds. I just need to brush my hair. And I'm now good to start my day and head off to work. And no retouching is necessary. As you guys know, I'm not a makeup YouTuber or vlogger. So if I've done my makeup incorrectly, I'm really sorry. But this is how I do my makeup when I'm in a hurry and need to get out of the door. And I don't want a heavy, strong look during the day. If you like this video, let me know. If you have any other video requests or video ideas that you think other subscribers and viewers would like, please let me know and put the, just the question or the suggestion in the comments box below. And as mentioned, all the products I've just used are in 
the description box or these boxes um, uh, if you want to know what exactly what colors I bought or what brands I bought and as I've said check out the Vanity Planet palette because it's really reasonable and the brushes are beautiful and as I said cruelty free so that will make my vegan followers very happy including myself. So I hope you're having a great week guys and I will see you next week for Money Monday or the following week for Lifestyle Love. Ciao for now. Also, I forgot to tell you, inside the Vanity Planet palette are these two really cute little brushes. So if I do need to touch up my makeup during the day, these two ones are perfect. It's a lip one and I guess a blush bronzing foundation one. So it's multifunctional and they fit neatly inside my everyday makeup kit that lives in my handbag. <laughs> Just thought you might like to